It's wonderful to be here. Of course, this is my home for, oh, at least 20 years, probably more. And um, I've been doing a lot of going down memory lane. In fact, I went up Walker's Line and uh, looked at various uh, nostalgic places. And uh, I used to live up on Britannia Road up the Guelph Line. It was 67, it was my centennial project. The Burling Art Center had not been built yet. And I was p painting our human heritage and natural heritage that was here in 1867 and still was there in 1967. And almost all of the human heritage stuff got bulldozed within the next 10 years. It seemed if I uh, painted it, it was the kiss of death. But there are a few places, Bethel Chapel over on Britannia Road, uh, west of Cedar Springs, I believe is still there. A few places are still there, but um, that's uh, progress. I think we need to start showing a bit more respect for our human heritage and, and our natural heritage. Uh, they certainly do it in, in Europe. They've got a lot of progress in Europe. They've got a lot of progress in Japan. But they balance, they balance the two. It's a pity to see the family farm disappearing. It has to do with the government policies that, uh, you know, could stand uh, some major tweaking. And um, also the way we plan our communities instead of just letting it go. Turning in what, what I call instant pudding, slick, smooth, sweet, and convenient. I was in Kelowna doing a keynote speech at a, a uh, Wild Week for Kids, uh, which businesses and schools all you know, are dedicated to wildlife. And uh, a wonderful woman, Mary, Mary Krupa, who really does all the work in the program, I just lend my, uh, my pretty face and my name. <laughs> um, they, um, uh, uh, she asked me, you know, if you could have one wish, what would it be for young people? And I said, well, that they would get to know the names of their neighbors of other species. It's said that uh, young people in North America can name over a thousand cor corporate logos or recognize them, but they can't name ten trees and birds that live in their own neighborhood and, and share the same air. So this is part of a thing I've been on. We have a, a calendar, a kid's calendar, in every province in Canada. Over 200,000 200, kids have entered it. Um, and now we've got an interactive CD which takes kids on virtual hikes in, in uh, Vancouver and Edmonton and Calgary and Toronto. Kids are spending an increasing amount of time, in fact, most of their waking hours, in front of screens. It's going to make a George Orwell world for us. And if we can get them out in nature, here's what happens. You have less obesity, less attention deficit disorder, less depression, less suicide, less drug abuse, less alcohol abuse, less bullying, and higher marks. And if I was to ask for a list of the main problems facing young people, it's the same list. My life has just been so fabulous, even teaching for 20 years, most of it in Holton County in Burlington. Um, I used to say I taught, taught for fun and I painted for real. And uh, I've, just, I've got a, a great list ahead of me and I hope I live enough years to, to paint all those ideas. But the trouble is I keep getting new ideas <laughs> to add to the list, so I gotta keep living longer and longer. If you want to be a, a real artist, paint from your heart and get a meal ticket. That's what I did, my meal ticket was teaching. I didn't, I didn't sell anything until I was 35 and I was a full-time teacher until I was 46. So, um, uh, get some kind of meal ticket, a bricklayer, a brain surgeon, whatever, and then just paint your little heart out, and if you're, if you're good and you do good stuff, the road will be the path to your door.